doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties, I'm still on the mend after my little fall. It's nothing serious, I'm just taking it easy. So we're leaving this backdrop up today because moving it seems like too much work. And I think our handbag section could use a little merchandising. The shelves are looking a little bare, but not for long. Okay, yes, I'm the same person who complained about spending $10 on doll shoes. But in my brain, somehow handbags are different. It's not logic, it's just me. In my defense, I rarely even put shoes on my dolls because when I'm filming, I hardly ever show their feet. We have shoes. Whatever, cat. Okay, then how about this? I just do what I want. And I want the crystal teddy bear slippers. So yeah, we're doing this. If my theory is correct and the outside of the box correlates to what is inside, then I think we have a pretty good chance of finding those slippers. Bears. Let's zoom in. It says Crystal Bailey teddy bear slippers. Oh my goodness. I did not even notice that before. But yeah, we got our slippers. All right, so here's the bag. It's um, got some gold lettering there. And I like how the paper is different every time. And here are the slippers and they're super heavy. Wow. They are flocked with little painted feet, little gem eyes, and a little gold nose. Here is Georgia Bloom, who goes by Gigi on the shelf. Let's try on, <laughs> let's try on those shoes. Okay, those are cute. And I am done with the shoes, like for real this time. Hello, handbags. These were $9.99, pretty much $10. It's series one. We get a certificate of authenticity, a receipt, a logo card, a larger bag. This is the one that comes with the shoes. So you can see the size difference. And here is our bag. I wonder which one it is. Oh, this is perfect. I got Gabriella's snakeskin handbag to go with the Python heels. Wait a minute, on the picture, there's supposed to be like a little silver buckle. Huh, maybe that's just concept art. But I'm looking up at the corner and I see a heart, which means it is ultra rare. But I still want the buckle. The bag comes with a plastic handle. It is made of a faux leather. I like the little gold corners there. We can open it. It has Velcro and put stuff inside. The Rainbow High Doll can easily hold it, and so can a Barbie. Comparing the Rainbow High purse to the mini fashion purse, I'm gonna say the mini fashion still has more detail, to me at least. Plus, it came with little extras like sunglasses, makeup, perfume, lotion, at random. Well, these are technically considered extras. Personally, I would have loved for the shoes and the purse to come together. There are 25 bags in series one, and I want Sunny's graffiti tote. Oh, but this is not that. This is Sunny's circle handbag, and it is also ultra rare. I am noticing a lot of detail on this one. A little clasp on the side, it's gold colored. It's not real, but it looks pretty good. A little gold detail right there, and we can move it. You just have to pull that through, and then you can move it to the side if you like. This is textured. It's a little patch. It is stitched onto the front. We do have a zipper here. Can we open it? We can. Okay, then. This bag is giving some fun details. Let's try pink. I think there are two pink bags and both of them belong to Bella. So let's see which one this is. And okay, it's the stylish Paris bucket bag. It has ribbon details for the straps, little stitching for the grommets, and this does work. I wanna say we saw something similar with Pacific Host High. We got a bucket bag with mini fashion as well. 
Let's try hot pink. Ooh, love the paper. And the little bag inside is pretty too. I like that. Here we go. Ooh, this is the Stella quilted handbag. It is glued and not stitched. That is like a little plastic box on the inside. There's Velcro, it does open and close. We have a ribbon strap, but we do have some metal-like grommets right there, which is cool. And I like the little medallion, although I feel like it shouldn't be covered by that, but I could be wrong. This one is also ultra rare. This one is blue and inside, we have another bucket bag. This one is called Skylar Paris Bucket Bag. It's denim. I'm not overly crazy about the bucket bags, but it does look cuter on the doll. On the receipt, it does say Skylar Bradshaw Paris Bucket Bag. You know, if they only wanted to give us paper accessories, they could have threw in some cash. Just saying, all these bags ain't free. We need some rainbow high bucks. That pink bag looks pretty good with the Barbie. I feel like Sunny's bag was totally there, but some of the others, I don't know. It's just kind of like, not quite. I opened a red box. There's a red bag inside. I'm gonna look in the bag cause I'm famous for not looking in bags and there's stuff inside. However, that is not the case today. Let's open the tissue paper and we have a clear sparkle bag. It has a printed quilt detail, painted grommets, a ribbon strap with a little faux leather at the top. Or are these eyelets? What's the difference between a grommet and eyelet? Well, we've seen three different ways they've made them so far. We've seen them stitched, we've seen real ones, and now we've seen painted. I prefer the ones that look like metal. And if these were chain rather than ribbon, that would have been so cool. Ah, I should have got the dark purple box rather than the lavender. Because I'm certain both lavender purses have that chain ribbon. Yup. Okay, so I have the purse in pink and now I have it in a light lavender. This is the rare violet quilted handbag. Let's go green. This time we have green paper, a little green dust bag, and inside we have Jade's rainbow tote. It's all fabric. Rainbow is embroidered across the front and we can open it. I see a lot of stitches. Let's try Shadow High. I'm hoping for the book bag. Let, oh, this is totally not that. I think it's that one that looks like a lock or something. Oops, I ripped my paper. Yep. It's the Shadow High lock handbag. It does open. However, I don't know what all you can get in there because there's this thing and it's made of plastic. The included dust bag is black. Here's a rainbow, rainbow high box. And hopefully we got something good. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I like the paper. I like the paper. And it's the rare Amaya Rainbow Fanny Pack. Now this one is not bad. We have embroidery across the front, a working zipper. Okay, then we can actually open the little bag. It is a faux leather. We have gold buckles and a ribbon rainbow strap. It opens and closes with Velcro in the back. So far, these two bags are my favorites. When it comes to the details I was hoping for, so I'm giving the yellow one last try to try to get that graffiti tote because I thought it was pretty awesome. And we've gotten no doubles so far. <laughs> I really got to stop saying that. So yeah, there is a possibility of doubles. I was really excited for these. I like how everything goes right along with the rainbow high fashion. I mean, come on, the purse and jacket. It adds more detail to the doll's look. But for $10 or less, if you find them on sale, there is mini fashion. 
I do like the Rainbow High packaging versus the plastic ball. However, when it comes to the bags, Mini Fashion is giving me all the details. And those little extras, well, the sticker is right up there with the certificate for me. We have a little wallet. Rainbow High has a dust bag, a makeup brush versus a logo card. Then we have a perfume bottle versus a receipt. And here are the bags. I think real little backpacks also fall in this realm. They are around $10. The backpack can fit a Rainbow High doll, although it is pretty large. And here it is on a Barbie. It's fabric, you can see which one you're getting, so there's no surprise for the bag. It has a zipper that works. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. And inside, we have all kinds of stuff. That may or may not be a good size for the dolls. These look like they could work with an 18 inch doll. I was hoping for a bottle, but no. So this could be a hit or miss with accessories if you're looking to use them with your dolls. I could probably put these in my gamer room and use them as posters. For $39.99, here is Melanie Lux from Rainbow High, Rainbow Vision, Rainbow Divas. When I saw all of these little accessories, I was interested in taking a look at Aisha Sterling and Sabrina St. Cloud. Oh my goodness, all I can think is Holiday Rainbow High Doll. These dolls come dressed in three different sparkly gowns with sequins glued to them. Aisha is wearing a two-piece. There's a halter top that fastens behind the neck and the back. Her hair is like silver. It has a nice little shine to it. It feels pretty good. There's a little bit of product in it. She has a few hair accessories, painted edges, glitter makeup, I do see a little bit of a shimmer on her skin tone. She wears silver and pearly colored earrings. She comes with bracelets that match those earrings, an asymmetrical skirt with shorts built in, and these beaut, oops, sorry girl. A doll stand, an asymmetrical skirt with ruffles and these faux feathers. That is lovely. There are shorts sewn in. She wears silver strappy heels and comes with a microphone that can move. Sabrina St. Cloud is pretty in pink. Her hair is down. It's kind of a blonde and peach color. Next to Georgia Bloom, it is a little more pink than peach. She also has hair clips and painted edges, matching earrings and bracelets. I do like how they are painting these little accessories. Her skin has a little shimmer to it. She has a glitter eyeshadow above the eye and a pearly lip. Her dress is fitted at the top, then it opens up at the bottom with some beautiful ruffles. We have some layers in there. There's a gold necklace, a belt at the waist. I'm liking the details sewn at the chest. She has strappy shoes, a mic, and a doll stand. Melanie Lux is definitely competing for my new favorite Rainbow High doll. Seriously? Sorry, but in my opinion, she is gorgeous. She has this shiny hair. It's in these curls. I do probably need to spend a little time recoiling them, but it's so soft. The painted edges. I still don't love the shimmer on the skin, but she's kind of beautiful. She has a little glitter above the eye, a pearly lip with a little bit of a gold sheen to it. Large hoop earrings, gold bracelets, pointy fingernails, which are kind of a selling point for me. And I just noticed on this hand, she has rings sculpted on. In fact, they all do. She wears a one shoulder dress with a cutout on the side, then a large ruffle that goes around the bottom. And we have some layers. Her shoes are gold and white, and she has a microphone. Each doll comes with a comb, a second outfit. This is Melanie's fur coat. It is very soft, and it's lined on the inside. Oh, wow. Here are her second pair of shoes, which I broke getting on. But there is a lot of detailed work on this dress. Since the gown was just sitting there, you know I had to try. Unfortunately, I cannot get the top to close in the back. 
The short dress isn't hitting the same either, but the fur coat is fair game, as long as you don't mind a shorter sleeve. Aisha wears a two-piece sequin outfit. The sequins pass the edges, creating this little fringe. She has this faux feather boa that's kind of like a stole and a second pair of heels. I can't close the top on my Barbie, but the skirt looks great. But with the feather boa, we can try to fake it. And I'm getting similar results with the gown. Sabrina's dress is pretty much a skirt on a Barbie, but her fur coat looks like even the sleeves are lined. That's pretty cool. I'm loving that. I do have some loose stitches on this side. But you know what? I can easily fix that. It's even lined behind the collar. You see, with these kinds of details, I was expecting a lot with those handbags. Her second outfit is a skirt with a strapless top and some sequins around the edges. Here's her fur coat. She has glittery sheer socks and another pair of heels. On the Barbie, the top can't close in the back, but the skirt looks pretty good. But with the fur coat, we can make it look like it fits. Each doll comes with a rolling train case. There's a retractable handle in the back. It is finished going all the way around. Got a fun little detail right there. We use the little R's to open it. It's finished on the inside. We have a little drawer here, which I can barely get, but yeah. And there's little dividers. That's cute. Oh, this comes out. There's a handle on top. It does open. There's a little mirror with faux lights and more storage. And these come out as well. And we can hang them on the sides. And the wheels at the bottom really spin. They all have blow dryers, three makeup brushes that we can put right here, compacts with mirrors. It can snap close and there's some details on top and they all have a lipstick in their shade. The top is clear and there are little molded details at the bottom. These would have been great little accessories to add to the purses. Just throwing that out there. Out of our finds today, the Rainbow Diva dolls with all their accessories are my favorite. And I think we can make a new Rainbow High backdrop with some of the packaging. I'm using some black foam board. It measures 20 by 30 inches. Measure up 13 inches and cut to have a 13 by 30 inch board. I place the doll box in the center, trace around it, score on the line drawn to make a trifold. Place the box in the center, draw a line down the side, score the line so they can bend. Trim off the top of the box, cut leftover foam board for a floor and make a small three quarter inch high platform to fit the bottom of the box. I glue the floor into the trifold, then the doll packaging with the platform, making a small stage in the middle of the box. Use other rainbow high packaging to glue onto the side walls for shelving. We made something like this a while back, except it was one giant wall and I found it a little difficult to store. But this is a hidden doll room that folds up for easy storage. And this one has a stage and is the perfect place to store the microphone. We can place the shoe boxes on the shelves and I'm using a little poster putty to keep it in place or simply display them to make it easier to pick out something to wear. This is an easy backdrop to make where we can take photos and have a little storage. And the dolls can practice for their performance on the mini stage. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Rainbow High handbags, Rainbow Divas, and made a quick backdrop in a hidden doll room using recycled packaging. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. 